a break point, however. Chip in charge, and it's Henman all over the net. First game, second second. And just the right kind of start for the British number one. And again, first class play. Henman senses that his opponent's struggling. He has the chance, break point, and he poses the question. And in the circumstances, Leaf, that is a very hard pass to execute on. Henman approaching down the middle. He's in the net, he covers the net like a blanket. Well, Henman's tactics have not allowed this man to get into any rhythm off the back. He's a guy who likes to hit a lot of shots, build up the point. And Henman has really imposed his game. Well, just from the trajectory of the return, I thought it might have been good. And TMI there suggesting that yes, it was. Yet no overrule from the chair. That's the way to get it done. That serve had plenty of bite. Three or four years ago, Henman was very high in the top ten on serving stats. The last two or three years, when he changed his approach with Stefanki, he was nowhere to be seen. In 2004, he's returned back in the top ten of service games one. Well, he continues to serve aggressively. And it's paying off. And right now, he is routining. 22 year old from Georgia. Now this year, before this week, he was holding 89% of his service games compared with last year of 79. That is a big difference. Fifteen. And when you return as well as Hemman does, and make as many balls, you're always going to be looking and threatening to break serve. <laughs> well, he really has shown quite a personality this week. In fact, in his last match, he stood on the umpire's chair and spoke What's directly the to the man in the chair. Okay. Spoken to the microphone and said, I'm going to give the umpire a warning. going to work against this man. You have to come in on something better than that. A hint of desperation from Labadze. That first volley well behind the service line.
He's one of those players you've got to put him away because he is so flashy. And he can string three or four shots out of nowhere. Well, you've got that right, Barry. He just lined up that forehand. That's unplayable. Hetman does nothing wrong here, but just executes terrifically well, does the Georgian. So he's not from Atlanta, Georgia. He's from Tbilisi, the Republic of Georgia. He's down a break in the second. Look at Rockley Labadze, where he's returning and been served from. He's surrendering a fair amount of real estate on the first serve. He's well back behind the baseline. And Henman's taken advantage of that because I'm not sure there's anyone in the world better than Henman in getting in behind the serve and finding a good position to volley. And that means close Talk to on. the net, looking for anything high to angle off. How much gas does he have left in the tank? Five matches, his first trip to the semifinals of an ATP event. What do you think, Barry? Has he got a shot to come back? He's got a shot, but I'm not sure the self-belief is there that he can beat Hemant, who's on form. But, you know, someone like Labatsi, all he needs to, as I said the game before, string a couple of winners together, and he can gain that self-belief very quickly. So Hemman's got to keep him down. Fifteen. He's got a dangerous game. You can imagine, couldn't you, if he was firing at Wimbledon, he could cause an upset. Labatsi. And in fact, he's committed to making his debut the week after the French Open. He's playing a tournament in Liverpool. I wonder how they'll fathom out Labatsi and his crazy antics. To the eye, you might think this is a fluke, but it isn't. That's sheer genius from Tim Hemman. The type of volley he's producing with regular occurrence yesterday against Roddick. Yeah. And that volley before leave, do you think do you think you can teach that or are you just born with a gift? Well, I think some players have a natural Hemingway, inclination to make that Hemingway. move more comfortably than other players. And if you started at a young enough age, you can learn to make that check step and that explosive step out there. But most players these days learn the ground strokes first. Not, not many players developing as servant volleyers at a young age. Fifteen. In some ways, with the changes on the tour the last two or three years, where they slowed the surface down, maybe will help the Hemman. Players just aren't used these days to people coming in after them. Fifteen. I think seeing Taylor Dent do so well here, taking out Gustavo Kerton. Wayne Arthur is always dangerous when he's serving and volleying. He had a good run before Tim Henman dispatched him. Uh -huh. 
I mean, when you were playing Leaf, 99 out of the top 100 was serving volleys. Yeah. Plenty of guys moving in behind their serves. Now, in those days, you know, it's John McEnroe, Stefan Edberg, Boris Becker, Patrick Rafter was starting to make a move, and all these players who were winning at the net really set a standard. I think more players did it based on you know, the trickle down from the very top of the game. So Labadzi holds on. Three games, two, two, Ten minutes. Three. Set and a break. Jeff Tarangu on the far right of your picture. He's been working with the Rockley Labadzi as a consultant, coach, advisor. He perhaps, with perhaps making a significant difference here in the desert. Well, he worked with Elenawi, didn't he, last year, at the beginning of last year when Elenawi had that sensational match with Roddick at the Australian Open. Also had a little bit with Vinny Spadia in the middle of last year. Jeff Tarangu, in his own way, really stimulates the guys and, and gets them thinking about their games and the possibilities that their game present. And certainly saw that with Elenawi. What a great season he had. Elenawi finishing the year at number 14. Career high. Out with injuries now. Unable to play this week here in the desert. Of course, he had a great match early in the event last year against Leighton Hewitt. Just going for a little too much on that return. I discussed how Labadze was, you know, sort of making a name for himself in Georgian tennis history. The most famous Georgian was Alex Mektervelli. But at that time, when Mektervelli was playing back in the 70s, he played for Russia, although he was originally from the Republic of Georgia. Labonzi made the long run, but he could not convert the pass. Well, the fascinating thing with Hammond is he knows where opponent is when he volleys. Whenever your opponent's behind the baseline, the, the great shot is the short drop volley. The player's got so much further to run. He's done that a number of times today, hasn't he? A big ace down the middle. And Henman extends his lead. Games, two, two, three. 